Hey cuties, Peachy here. Welcome back to a new video. And in this video, we're going to cover some brand new dolls that I actually already talked about in a previous video when we got the, you know, initial leaks. But in this video, we have brand new images, close-ups of the brand new doll line, I guess, spin-off line of the VIP Pets fashion dolls. So all the tea, stay tuned and let's get into it. We have our first listing from this new doll line and it, the listing name, it says they call them vip girls and it says s1 i guess for series one and the name so we have here mia uh so yes these are spin-off fashion dolls from the uh already established uh you know i guess toy line called i love vip pets so i'm not sure which uh, from which company they're produced these are for sure not made by mga uh or mattel or hasbro i think these are made by um moose toys perhaps or jack specific i'm not sure but uh these are you know these little doggy figures with real hair have been around for a hot second they i think these are also made by the same company that makes um hair hair adorables uh like and they also had uh the spin-off fashion dolls remember and those kind of like went nowhere what what happened to those dolls i guess they never materialized uh any further they had like one series and like a prom line and that's it so that kind of like went nowhere but uh i think they might be made by the same company by again hair adorables that's also a similar concept they have long hair but here it's on it's on dogs so instead of you know now they're again branching out and creating a brand new fashion doll line spin-off off of the vip pets and these are just normal girls in uh, a normal height I'm, I'm i'm thinking like normal doll height and uh, the feature here with these dolls i'm guessing is that they all have like a hair feature I'm not sure all we have right now are these pictures i i do think maybe we'll get like a series eventually i i don't know I, there's no information but um it, going off of the artwork on the packaging and like the kind of like there's like a hair academy thing like written on the box so we'll, we'll get into that later but like yeah it seems that perhaps this this will become like a web like a web series um but getting into mia first here because we do have we only have full-on stock photos of her and then we have a group shot that we'll also get into later for all the other dolls that we don't have individual pictures of as of right now so well, let's start off with mia so with mia she's the you know one of the first uh one of the characters from the series one wave that includes five dolls i think in total and so here we have mia and she has like a purple theme going on she has like purple hair a little uh you know cr like a curly you know fringe going on there on the front she has like a butterfly clip on one side she has a really cute outfit on like almost tweed looking uh, a skirt she has a cute shirt on uh, it's like like little bow on the front she also has like um like a different material sleeves uh she has a like little buttons like almost like little pearls on the front of her skirt which is really a nice detail and the shoes seem to be um a pretty neat little uh you know like lace up you know heel perhaps i'm not sure if these girls uh, are wearing like really high heels or maybe just like a like a flat shoe but they're on their he tippy toes so uh yeah mia looks cute and they do these dolls um have i'm guessing the you know five basic points of articulation with uh the head then we have the you know shoulders um then we have the knees and i don't know if they have uh, oh yes they do have wrist and elbow articulation as well so they they have the basic points of articulation um and plus again the elbows and wrists but i do think those are kind of like a given nowadays with fashion dolls but still like really nice to see because it does uh give it more of an elevated fashion doll quality because you know it's not like a like a barbie budget situation these are like actually like articulated and they also have inset eyes no real lashes like no fake lashes rooted in uh, like rainbow high does obviously but the you know inset eyes still provides a really unique um feature to these dolls and like a unique aspect to the face as well because otherwise the faces look pretty basic uh i do think the inset eyes do add a little little you know nugget of of uh cuteness that just it doesn't like you know they all inset eyes just provide something different like they're just 
they just elevate it somehow. I don't know why, but they always do. So just provides more dynamic, uh, more, you know, three-dimensional uh, effects, I guess. <laughs> I wish maybe the eyes would have had some glitter in them because they. I feel like glitter inset eyes are so pretty. And so like with Novi Stars, for instance, like that would have been really cute. But um, it's okay. They still look okay. The hair, it seems, you know, the hair is the focal point. It's like, uh, like the main feature. Again, like you're supposed to like play with the hair so i do hope you know the hair looks long um but i'm not sure what quality it is like what hair type so let's see again i'm not sure what company makes these so um but i think you know just because i don't know it doesn't mean that it's cheap it just might be like a different hair type i don't know but i think you know mia the outfit is pretty cute uh it does surprise me that the skirt really looks like tweed like the material um is it tweed actually like i'm not sure but the added on pearl buttons definitely surprises me because that's act those are actual buttons like glued on like that's a really nice detail which again most you know like mattel would just you know print the buttons on the fabric they wouldn't actually like glue real buttons or pearls onto clothing usually like they, they wouldn't go to that length of detail but you know this this brand does it so that's a definitely a very good impression to see that they are going places with the details on the clothing and it's not and it's not just like printed on materials it's like actually like different materials used different fabrics different textures um that is very surprising to me so uh, a very good first impression here with mia now, here's this image where we can see how you're supposed to use that butterfly accessory on that she's wearing as a clip on the other picture here it's like you're using this little device like a little uh pistol um mechanism uh with the butterfly clip to kind of like i guess tie it into the hair and to attach it i'm so i'm not sure like what this actually is like what is happening <laughs> i'm not i don't know much about like hair play toys like and the different mechanisms and like features that they they've invented over the years so like this is this looks kind of random to me but yeah it's the, it's the hair clip and like obviously here we've also we can see the um other accessories um it obviously it the feature here the play mechanism is is a you know surrounding uh, it's um about the pistol like it involves the little you know gun mechanism you're supposed to like i guess uh you know loop in pearls or like those little beads that uh, are included and then maybe attached him to the butterfly so i think something like that something like that yeah definitely um but i'm just i feel like i need a video to see how this actually works but the accessories look cute you know um they're removable like you know like the shoes obviously but also the little um like uh accessories that she has in her pocket like also she has pockets like what that's cute uh but yeah she has like different stuff so that's also really nice to see that it's not just like you know random things like it actually looks like um a nice assortment of of uh ac accessories also no pet no pet um which is you know i i do think usually there's like a pet involved with like fashion dolls like with barbie you know and then with monster high even they have pets and you know rainbow high omg doesn't include pets but like i'm surprised especially because you know like the these are a spin-off off of the vip vip pets so i thought maybe they would have included like a like a smaller figurine like a dog figurine but like nope just like it's just all about hair so here is a close-up of her box the packaging is really solid i think it's a it's a pretty neat little packaging you know they advertise the hair really heavily like she has xxl hair and then there's this little artwork uh of her um uh, almost like a 3d model like cg so that's interesting um on the corner and it says we we can see it says something about like hair academy again academy so i guess all of these girls are going to the hair academy to learn hairstyling or something um not sure again uh this this might be part of the series or it's just like um i mean it kind of has to be like why else would they try to build up a story for each character unless there's a you know corresponding you know storyline somewhere in the web series or movies or you know whatever well like what why else would you include little story nuggets for kids to discover i mean obviously to get to know the characters but also like you want to loop in the ongoing story with you know again a web series or whatever it's like it's what they always do it's it's so they get you like you get closer to the characters and you want to get the dolls so it's it's marketing <laughs> But uh, I think the box is pretty plain, pretty simple. Um, and um, again, I can't really see the company brand here, like the what 
you know, like who makes these dolls. So I'm not sure. I, I think Moose Toys. I'm thinking they make these dolls. Uh, again, I'm not sure. But uh, the packaging is really cute. I think it does give off kind of like Barbie Extra vibes because it is just like a big plastic window and it's just like a in cardboard backing um i wish packaging was more unique nowadays like i i get it you know it's, it's expensive but like it just doesn't take too much to make packaging you know to, to design unique looking creative packaging like you know like omgs like did a good job like it was like part of the experience and you know rainbow high not so much <laughs> it was horrible to open up but like with these boxes like i don't know i feel like they could have added some more pizzazz it's just it's just kind of simple now here we have the group shot and uh there's so that yeah so there's five dolls in total in series one and uh i don't know the names for all of them and i just we just have this one group shot so that's all i'm going off of here but yeah the one in the back like next to uh mia she's she has like a lot of bright colors i think she's kind of like maybe tacky in my opinion i don't i don't really like the colors she's giving me dazzle vibes from omg uh lights yeah so but not bad like it's just like very bright colors and then the one in the middle i think she's probably my favorite um she's really cute like with the hair the outfit giving me heavy omg rainbow high vibes with the branding of the vips on the strap uh, vip pets on the straps like that's definitely very uh, reminiscent of what omg and again rainbow high does as well with their outfit pieces i love her boots i think the it also the face up like the screening i just like the raised eyebrow as well and then we also have the one next to her in pink i think she's also probably like my second favorite and then the one in the back like next to the pink one she has some bangs she's giving me overalls like she's a very casual denim girl um so i think overall for series one it's a pretty solid lineup, I have to say. I do wonder if all of these dolls will come with the same, you know, mechanism of the hair pl hair play feature, or if they're gonna have differing, you know, diverse uh, hair play features with every doll that's unique, right? So, cause uh, that would make it more, you know, that would make that would make it more you know worth it to get all the dolls because they all have a unique hair play feature you know with the accessories so i do think they're gonna have all the, like their own unique little thing going on but are they all um hair academy students i yeah i guess so i don't know <laughs> maybe there's gonna be like a, also like a fashion academy um i think yeah because there's also like a deluxe doll coming out that we don't have a picture here but in my last video yeah we took a look at like also like a deluxe doll so let's see i don't know but these yeah so these are the spin-off fashion dolls from vip pets i think overall again solid lineup uh they're supposed to retail for 40 euros on amazon that's you know in amazon germany so i think in us dollars they're going to be cheaper obviously in the release date there's no release date that i could find but i'm thinking maybe summer fall um and as we'll you know as the weeks go by i'm sure we'll get more pictures so yeah i think they're cute but will i get any i'm not sure i kind of have to see them in person maybe you know see reviews of them um see what they're all about really and like are they worth it because i mean there's so many dolls as is on the market so it's kind of hard to prioritize and you know see and figure out like what is worth investing so but that i think they're cute they're pretty pretty cute not not too bad <laughs> and that was the video i hope y'all enjoyed leave a like share comment subscribe hit the notification bell if you haven't already so you don't miss i want to post more content like this coming your way daily and keeping you up to date with all the doll tea you love also consider becoming a member today stay safe be kind i hope to see you next time stay pg kisses